It's nothing short of a man-made miracle. Most of the water that leaves your tap today in Israel was in the sea this morning. This is Sorek, the largest seawater desalination plant of its kind in the whole world. And I'm here for an exclusive peek at how a tiny country in the middle of the desert is leading the way in liberating humanity from dependence on rainfall. So here's how it works. First, the water is drawn from the Mediterranean through a pipeline way out at sea. It gets here by gravity alone into this well, dragging some fish, jellyfish, and even the odd baby shark with it too. Half of the plant is busy just cleaning the water before desalination, and pollution from dirty rivers in Israel and sewage from Gaza is testing these facilities' ability to function. Last year, the health ministry briefly shut it down over such concerns. But the water gets filtered, and the sludge is treated and safely buried. After the water goes through its original cleaning, it gets pumped up here into this pool. The original mesh is able to filter out anything thicker than five square millimeters. But there's an entire ecosystem here of fish that manage somehow to sneak in. The water percolates through the base of this pool, two meters of a special filtering sand. And then after the water goes through that cleaning process, it all streams through here inside this building at a tremendous current into this pool. The water then gets pumped through increasingly higher pressures, reaching a pressure of 70 bar. That's like being subjected to 700 meters of water above your head finally passing through the final micronic filters which make sure that any residual sand has been filtered out and then it passes through to the real reverse osmosis stages. And here's where the magic happens. The water gets pumped down at incredible pressures to separate the clean water from the brine. The seawater gets pumped through this. These are special plastic sheets covered in fiberglass membranes that only let water molecules through. One tube carries the clean water to the rest of the plant and another disposes of the brine back into the sea. And just before the end, they remove boron from the water lest it hurt plant life and add minerals. To put this operation in perspective, Israel's annual municipal consumption of water that's anything that's not industry or agriculture is 750 million cubic meters. 80% of that is now desalinated. And of that, 150 million cubic meters are produced in Sorek alone. That's 20% of Israel's domestic consumption. In a country where rainfall in years of drought can be only 50% of the average, desalinated potable water is truly a lifeline. Now it's drinking water and flows straight into the national water system. This was seawater only 40 minutes ago. Elon Aslan Levy for IBN News.